Hey, it's Megan McFadden from Mischievous Monsters. Today, we're going to review a few vegan Valentine's Day products. So the first thing we're trying is the main thing I found at Trader Joe's that was Valentine's Day that, and vegan, hard pasta. The only ingredients it has in it is wheat and then tomato and beet powder for the color. We're going to start making this on the stovetop while I try some more things. I'm just gonna play a game. Most of the non-frozen stuff is, or everything that's not frozen, or the pasta is in here. So I'm just gonna draw out the thing I'm gonna try next. So we're gonna do the Lake Champion chocolates next. So the two things I'm trying, there are some vegan chocolate truffles and dark chocolate things that remind me of kisses. Well, that's actually not what I expected. So it's chocolate on the inside. And this has coconut cream. I'm not much of a coconut fan, so I'm very confident I'm not gonna like these. But maybe I'm wrong. You can taste the dark chocolate. And it has raspberry in it. I actually like it and I'm very surprised. I thought I wouldn't like it. Eight out of 10. Like heart shaped. I'm not much of a dark chocolate fan. That being said, let's see what they taste like. It's a little harder chocolate than I thought it'd be. I don't know why it's so hard. It's not as bitter as I thought it would be for being dark chocolate. I just wish it was softer chocolate, more like the truffles. That was a perfect texture. Nailed it. Six out of ten, which is higher than I thought I'd give it. So let's see what we're trying next. Cheerios! I found Forager Project. They were one of the people that also has some of the vegan ice cream. They sell vegan cereal, like Cheerio looking cereal. I haven't tried it yet. I've got also their cinnamon and their chocolate. Apparently it expires this, um, in February 2022, so I don't know if these just don't have as many, oh, they don't really have that many preservatives. So maybe this just expires quicker. It's a good thing to know. It already tastes stale. I don't really taste the strawberry in it. I'm a little artificially flavored. I'm not disappointed. This is gonna get a four. Let's try one more thing before I get the pasta out of off the stove top. Endangered Species has three vegan Valentine's Day chocolate bars. I found them at New Pioneer Co-op in Cedar Rapids. I'm gonna try the oat milk and dark chocolate one first. Fancy. They got animals in the cover of Endangered Species. What? A little disappointed. It just was a little bitter and a little peanut buttery, creamy tasting. Five out of 10. Try the raspberry one next. Oh, the raspberry one has the brown bear. If you look like this, you're like, this looks like a crunch bar. But then you're like, why do the sausage in the middle? A little too, like, it's very obvious it's raspberries, real raspberries, but they don't taste like, they taste a little like too powdered or just a combination of what they were. I wish it was sweeter. Not too bad. Five and a half out of ten. Lastly, we're gonna try the cherry or chocolate one, fiber cherry. It just depends on the cherry. I'm more of a sweet cherry person. If it's a tart cherry, no, don't like it. The Atlantic Puffin. Aww. This just looks like the regular oat milk one. The cherry flavor is not that strong, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's a little better. 5.25 5 out of 10. The raspberry one was the best. I wish it would have been a little less sugary flavored with the raspberry. It almost tastes like it was a little coated with it to artificially preserve it, but I wish they all three of them were sweeter. The cherry was a little light on the flavor. I would do a little more. And just check why does the 
oat milk one tastes like peanut butter texture or something it just tastes a little off let's try the pasta tastes very starchy that's good the shape held itself really well i probably could have cooked it a little more but i didn't want to like overcook it this is super good i wish the colors of the pasta would look a little bit more Valentine's Day. -y. You can almost do three pasta colors. You can have a very strong like rose petal red, a pinker like magenta -y color, and a white. That's what I would have done. But otherwise, nine out of ten. What's next on the list? Patches. Oh, we 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 going to do a review on the Sharpie. Okay. Didn't know. Yummer Earth is next. So at New Pioneer Co-op, they had a Valentine's Day display where I found some gummy fruits that are kind of like things you could give. These are two um, kid Valentine's Day things. So these aren't just like munchies for fun. These are like, you go to school, you give out your Valentine's Day, you have a crush, and then you give them these. So that's what these are. One has pops and then the gummy fruit. And then one just has, this is just snackable gummy fruit. In both baggies, they have these. But the um, this baggie also has these. So, just so ignore the cat eating the pasta. She likes it too. So we got suckers. That are different flavors. I think these are all just generic things they have, but they're just wrapped in heart shape. So the gummy fruits. We'll start with the sucker. Strawberry smash. And we're gonna pretend they're not eating the props. Let's try the sucker, even though I don't I don't like a lot of the sugar candies. So I try to not do as many of those, but this is the only Valentine's Day treats I found in the store. That would be vegan, but that's why I'm trying them. The strawberry smash kind of tastes like fruit punch. A little hint of strawberry, but more of a fruit punch type of strawberry. It's not as sticky as I thought it would be. I'm actually surprised to say this. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. That's a, a lot for something I didn't think I'd like. And then we'll try the gummies. So these just look like fruit snacks, but they're hearts. Mm -mm. These taste like um, generic, cheap fruit snacks. They're almost too spoiled and too hard. Like you have the flavors in there, but they don't taste that strong, and the flavors they have aren't that great. Three out of ten. We're gonna try the no we chocolate next. So for some reason, I'm gonna dock them for this. It claimed it was coming here on February 9th, like a month ago, when I ordered it. And I was like, why would you be so confident it's coming a month from now when it's like, I probably can do a day trip to Tennessee or wherever, if it's actually made in Tennessee. Some reason I thought of a uh, Canadian company. I don't like them already. This is super tacky. Tacky. So the design itself is okay. The back is like, makes them look so cheap. It just, the wrapper. I've seen the wrappers before and other things. It doesn't look professional. And it just doesn't look good on here. I wouldn't put them on popsicles or lollipops, but we'll try one of them. So I tried no wee chocolate before in my fall review and the milk and white chocolate just didn't taste good. This chocolate tastes abundantly sweet. Not like the sweetness you want in chocolate. It just tastes sugary. Not like sweet as in like 
having the rice and cutie combo together. It was better than I thought it would be. I'm going to say a 5.75 out of 10. I liked it better than Endangered Species, but not by much. It wasn't as good as the Lake Champions Dark Chocolate. The last thing I'm trying that's from pantry type stuff is Supernatural Sprinkles. They have some art sprinkles. And I got some Christmas ones. They were okay, a little big and hard, but I still thought it was good enough to try them again. So. Ah! Can't do that right. You see the sprinkles? Some are hard, some are just more fun colors. The thing I don't like about it, the colors just don't look Valentine's Day. -y. I would have done, oh, don't get why there's yellow in there. Maybe it's branding, because they have yellow in their branding. But I would have done red instead of yellow in here. And I still don't get why their things taste like uh, hard candy. I have a hint of a flavor, but I don't know what it is. They're not too bad. I wish they were a lot smaller. Maybe just because I can't have the shape without it being a certain size. I'll change this to 6.5. This will be a 6 out of 10. My attempt to get a couple more things, as you can see with the cereal, I got some red and strawberry type flavored stuff. So this is gelato, that's strawberry flavored. Everyone should do this. Okay, so this was good. This on my gelato was good enough to save my freezer. I still have a decent amount of ice cream left from a while back when I did that ice cream video, but we'll see. This might have to melt. We'll try the acai bites from Sam. Sam. Amazon. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Sorry. Very good vibes. Get it? A little messy, but let's see how it goes. This frosting reminds me of the Hostess Ho Ho's. It tastes a little bit too much like a smoothie. This will get a 6.25 out of 10. And then the last thing we're trying is the gelato. So while this is unfreezing, I am going to have one more vegan Valentine's Day video, and that will be on a dessert platter you can take to your school or just when you hang out and have a couple's thing. So other videos that I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some of the older videos that I did close to Christmas time, but I haven't posted yet. I have a couple produce reviews, one on Melissa's and another on Miami fruit. I'm hopefully gonna do some St. Patrick's and Easter stuff. I got the decorations while getting this. And hopefully my cats won't be as entertained by the decorations as these because they're all over the floor now. So let's see if this is melt unmelted. <coughs> this just tastes weird. Long story short, the flavor isn't there. I don't know, so like it's not that good flavor. Is it coconut based? Okay, I'm tasting the coconut cream. That's what I'm tasting. The coconut cream is a little strong. I would add more strawberry puree and like almost double, triple it because this coconut cream is a little too strong for the strawberry puree. And I'm going to give it. What is this? Good? A three and a half out of ten, sorry. The final scores of the review. 
following that is Young Earth Lollipops. What? Oh, come here. Hi. Oh. Hodges, are we ready to tell them which ones were the best? Okay. You're my Valentine, sweetheart. Hmm? You like the camera? tallies are in and patches and I want to show you what we thought was best. The top thing from this review is Trader Joe's heart pasta. That got a 9 out of 10. Congratulations. The runner up is Lake Champion Chocolates Vegan Chocolate Raspberry Truffles. They got an 8 out of 10. Then Young Earth Lollipops, well they call Pops, they got a 7 out of 10. Then you got Lake Champion Dark Chocolate Hearts. They got a 6.5 out of 10. The Acai Bites got a 6.25 out of 10. Supernatural Valentine's Day Sprinkles got a 6 out of 10. No Wheat Foods um, Chocolate Lollipops got a 5.75 out of 10. Endangered Species the Raspberry Valentine's Day Chocolate Bar got a 5.5 out of 10. Endangered Species Cherry Chocolate Bar got a 5.25 out of 10. Endangered Species Oat Milk Valentine's Day Chocolate Bar got a 5 out of 10. Forager Project Strawberry Cereal got a 4 out of 10. Oh My Strawberry Gelato got a 3.5 out of 10. And last place went to Yum Earth gummy fruits they got a three out of ten thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to watch my next valentine's day video on the dessert platter and i hope to see you soon